Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, we'll be solving end chapter problem number two point one, A, B, and C. Let's see the problem. This is x n, and this is h n, and we have to compute x n. Convolution H n for part A, part B it will be x n plus two convolution with H n, and part three it will be x n convolution with H n plus two. Okay, now let's look at what is given and what does that represent. This is x n in terms of a deltas, and this is H n again in terms of a delta. And if we plot them, the x n will look like this. And just to give an idea, n is equal to zero. So we start at zero, and delta means amplitude one. So we draw an amplitude one signal here. This one is n minus one. When we put n minus one equal to zero, that means n is equal to one. So we are at point n is equal to one. And we have two delta. That means the amplitude will be double. So in this way, uh, this is plotted. And same way, the h n function is also plotted. We have two delta, n plus one. N plus one equals zero. Means n equals minus one. So at n minus one, we plot an impulse of two. And similarly, n minus one means we move on the right side. That is, n is equal to plus one. So at plus one. We again have a impulse of amplitude two. So this is what is given. This formula we have to keep in mind: the formula of convolution y n is x n into h n, and it can be written in two forms: x k h n minus k or h k x n minus k. So we can use either of the two, uh, depending on which one is more helpful to us. Now let's start the first part. So this is what we have to solve. And now in this case, we are using this formula. The first part, this one, and we are using this because in this case, x n is being moved, so this will help us more. Now h n, if you look from here or even from uh, what is given, uh, I am for my convenience or understanding, I am giving it two names. One is the left part, another is the right part. So this is the left part here, and this is the right part here. And so y one now, this y one is x n convolution h n. We can write this as x n convolution h n left part. Plus x n convolution h n right part, and that means if we put in the value of h n left and h n right, it will look like this: x n convolution two delta n plus one, and similarly the right hand side. Now we we'll use a property. That property says that convolution of a signal. So this is the signal convolution with a shifted impulse. Now this is shifted impulse. The impulse is shifted to point T zero. This will imply that simply uh, simply shifts the signal. So the signal x t is actually uh, is shifted by T zero. So this formula will apply here. And if you look carefully, they are very similar. So x n two delta n plus one, and x n multiplied by two delta n minus one can now be written as two times this two x and shifted by n plus one. So x n plus one, and similarly here two times x shifted by n minus one. So this is the uh, general answer that we have. Or we can call it general equation. Now, if you need to plot this, then we'll have to be a little more specific. So let's see how we do that.
For purpose of plotting, we need specific values of y1. Equation 1, this equation 1, can be interpreted as multiply xn by 2, multiply xn by 2, and replace n by n plus 1. So, this is n has been replaced by n plus 1. Similarly, plus sign, multiply by 2, and replace n by n minus 1. So, we'll use this technique and this is what is xn given to modify xn. So, now look carefully. I'm multiplying this whole thing xn by the left hand side. So, 2 multiply by this whole signal only shifted by n plus 1. So, this n has been shifted by n plus 1. Here also n has been shifted by n plus 1. And here also n has been shifted by n plus 1. So, this is the left part, this part. And the right part is plus again 2 times and shift all the n's by n minus 1. So, again this n is shifted by n minus 1 this n is shifted by n minus 1 and similarly this and now we can simplify so I hope you can follow these steps here n plus minus 1 will just give it n so simplifying all this and further adding the like terms so this will be our final answer for y 1n and now we can easily plot you can see this is an amplitude of 2 and located at n plus 1 equals 0 means n equal to minus 1. So at n is equal to minus 1 we have an amplitude of 2. Similarly n is equal to 0 the amplitude is 4 and here n is equal to plus 1 the amplitude is 2 here also 2 at 3 there is nothing and there is no n minus 3 so at 3 it will be 0 and here at n is equal to 4 it is minus 2 so we go in the negative direction so this is the final plot now I'll tell you an easy way to verify or even you can solve if it is not specified which technique you have to follow and that easy way is that first of all we write xn you see this one has an amplitude a and it is located at 0 we mark 0 by a dash then the amplitude 2 so we write 2 and it is on the right side of this one so we write it at the right side then there is no amplitude for n minus 2 so we put it as 0 and then the amplitude for n minus 3 is minus 1 so we write minus 1 so this is x n similarly h n is 2 at uh, on the left hand side of 0 this is 0 so 2 amplitude then there is nothing for 0 so we write it 0 and then on the right hand side we again have an amplitude of 2. Now this will just carry out simple multiplication from right hand side and then addition so this is the final answer. Now where do we put the 0? If you look there is nothing on the left of this 0 and there is only one element on the left of this zero. So total our zero is one left of the leftmost, uh, sorry, one right of the leftmost. So in this case, the zero will be one right of the left, leftmost, that is zero will be here. And it is exactly same, you can see amplitude two, two, then amplitude four at zero, so amplitude four at zero, then 2, 2, 0, so 2, 2, 0, and minus 2. So this is the uh, first part, and it's verification we did. And now uh, we go to the part. The second part, the only difference is that in now, in this case, the xn has been shifted by 2. So it has shifted to negative side, and we'll 
again follow this formula now we have xn has been shifted therefore this one is with xn shifted so it is logical to use this formula okay now we can write y2 this and the summation in this formula you can just simply see hk hk x n plus 2 now the n has been replaced by n plus 2 because here also in the question x is now n plus 2 remaining uh, remains same that is minus k now since we have calculated the final value of y1 and plotted it it is fruitful to relate y2 with y1 for further insight so if you can relate y2 y1 then we exactly know uh, uh, from y1 how much we have to move left or right etc so let's relate it now comparing 2.12 that means this equation with 2.11 that is the original equation for y1 so this is y1 and this is y2 if you just compare hk and hk is same x n plus 2 is in place of a n so n in y1 has been replaced by n plus 2 in y2 so we can write that y2 is nothing but y1 with n replaced by n plus 2 so this is y2 and now you can see that what we have to do we have to plot y1 and then shift the whole thing by n minus 2 that is n plus 2 that is on the minus side on the left hand side and if you want to go into more details then now this was y1 so we shift every n in y1 by n plus 2 so here we are now writing n plus 2 here we are writing n plus 2 and all the n's are replaced by n plus 2 simplifying this is the final uh, equation a final value for y2 and as I told you we can plot from this directly or this is nothing but y1 shifted towards left by uh, two values and here also you can if you want to verify now you see the x has been uh, the zero value of x has been changed because the x has moved by 2 and plus 2 that means move towards the left hand side so now 0 will be here earlier this was the 0 point now because of moving on the left by 2 values this will be our 0 point and hn remains same we multiply same way we get this answer now where do we place the 0 now if you look the left of 0 we have two values here and the left of 0 we have one value here so our 0 will be three values to the right so one two and three three values to the right this value is of 0 and similarly now you can see from this graph that our 0 is 2 on the left of 0 is again 2 and the left is 4 and further left is 2 so we just match with this value so this is the verification process we have y3 in this case now hn has been shifted instead of xn so uh, we can now use this formula here hn is shifted and we follow exactly same technique that y3 is x convolution hn plus 2 using this formula we replace n by n plus 2 so this is y3 we compare it uh, with again y1 so this is y1 and this is uh, y3 no difference except that here also n has been replaced by n plus 2 so we can then say that y3 is nothing but y1 and shifted by plus 2 so that means in this case also the whole diagram will move left by 2 and so this was y1 
we replace all the n's by n plus 2. So this is the final answer and you can I hope easily plot this. So I hope this gives you an understanding how you can solve uh, this type of a problem by um, mathematical means, not graphical means, uh, through algebraic equations. Thank you.